Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this word. It's the brother Yara Ya, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with a quick one, hopefully, and I hope it's going to be edifying. So literally, something happened at my place of plantation, which, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a testimony worth sharing, you know. So I decided to, you know, make a lesson from this. So anyway, before, before starting, I'd like to read from the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 17 which quotes and it shall come to pass in the last days says Yahweh I will pour out my I'll pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams and we're seeing lots of this happening lately lots of people are beginning to see all different kinds of visions it's the most I actually bring into pass this this um this prophecy so anyway to cut the long story short at the place of um plantation i labor together with um a jake he's actually from um a country in west africa called ivory coast you know but through the spirit i could tell he's a jake and you know sometimes we labor together and you know if the spirit is on me, you know, I just, you know, let him know, hey, this is what it is. This this is your true identity, your Israelite. And, you know, the true names are this, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So anyway, to cut the long story short, before starting the the the, the vision, the dream this, this brother had, which is a very powerful dream, I'd like to give an insight to the backstory. So some days... Earlier, before he had this dream, I think a day or two days, two days before he had this dream, probably. I might be mistaken, it could be a day before he had this dream. No, it's two days before he had the dream. So, we actually labored together. And I was speaking with another arc, you know, from the GMS Italia camp. And at the end of our conversation, we, we, we saluted ourselves as we usually do. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Dash Barakata. So he heard it and he liked what I said. So he started asking me what he meant. So I explained to him that this is what it means. You know, those are the names of the true. Mo, mo, that's the name of the true power. You know, God of creation, Yahweh. But Hashem means in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. So I explained to him and he insisted. I teach him how to. How to say these words bear in mind this brother is a muslim okay this is something i didn't say from the beginning of the video he is a muslim okay and he's you know that's dedicated muslim you know i actually thought it would be hard to teach him but you know he's kind of like open-minded he doesn't mind hearing other things you know but he's a he's a dedicated muslim so i told him these names and I ended up sending him a video of the Akiams, you know, there's a short video that most Akiams have, you know, where you have the Akiams gathered together on the streets, you know, screaming out, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So I sent him that, so should in case he forgets the name. So that was what happened days, two days before he had this dream. So the, the day after we didn't see, okay, we didn't work in the same places, so on the third day we saw in the morning at the plantation we we're about to go start you know walking and he told me that he had a dream he would like to let me know what the dream is because the dream is a is is a very important dream for him you know so i was like okay go on share it so he told me in his dream he found himself in a place you know where there's some crowd around you know and there was this man in the middle of the crowd he was sick and he looks very old and he looked like he was going to die 
So the man was, you know, you could tell he was sick, you know, and he was lying on a bed. And someone from the crowd came over and said he could pray for him, okay? So someone from the crowd came over and started praying for him. And he got up on his feet and he became young again. So the man who was about to die in the dream, you know, after someone came out from the crowd to pray for him, he stood up on his feet and he became young again. And he was, you know, it was okay. Then all of a sudden, Jake in the dream find himself saying, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, <laughs> which is very funny. He's Muslim. <laughs> he would have called some other names, but in the dream, he found himself saying, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And all of a sudden, all the people in the crowd, both the man that was healed and the man who healed them, everyone started screaming, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Kakudash, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Then he woke up from the dream. So he told me it was a very, you know, very strange dream because, you know, he actually forgot about the conversation we had about the names. You know, he wasn't even thinking about that before he went to bed. He totally forgot what we actually spoke about. Like he wasn't really thinking about that. And he went to bed and there we go. He had a dream. And this is what his dream is, you know. So... I told him, you know, I read the scripture to him, which is, you know, I actually quoted the scripture to him, this book of Acts 2 7, and told him that it was the Most High showing him again that his true name is Yahweh and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And actually, the day that, you know, he was requesting me to teach him these names, I made a statement that day, you know, he skipped me. So when he was telling me, that he wanted to learn those names i was i was kind of like perplexed i was you know it was funny to me because i knew he was a muslim you know so he kept repeating the names and i told him hey there a day is coming where you're going to call on Allah," because i told him what the meaning of allah is you know i told him allah actually meant powers and that's it that's not the name of the most high so i told him that the day is going to call on allah when he's going to find himself in some trouble on that day, he's going to remember the names that I teach him today, which the true names of the Most High is Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. So we laughed over it, you know. So this, this is a beautiful testimony, you know. I really hope my words were enough to explain, you know, what this dream actually is, you know. Um, let's get some precepts, you know, regarding the names the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because these are the only true names that can save you from from any any problems you find yourself these are the true names that's going to you know lead us into salvation those who don't call this name don't really know the most high you know you can't say you know the most high without knowing his true name and the name of his son Yahweh Shai so this is the book of Acts I'll get it from here Acts 4 This is the book of Acts 4, 12, which quotes, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under, under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Okay? There is no other name given under heaven where which we must be saved. Okay? We are saved only through the name of Yahweh Shai. You know? And we can't get to the Father without the Son, you know? Yahweh Shai is the one that leads to the Father, you know? It says, there is a scripture that says, you know, I am the way, the truth, and life. You know, no one no one goes to the Father without, you know, going through Yahweh Shai. Just paraphrasing, you know? This is Yahweh Shai saying it. Let's get on that scripture. This is the book of Philippians. Philippians. That's two nine. I hope I no, I didn't write it. Philippians two nine quotes wherefore Yahweh also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. The name of Yahweh Shai is above every other name. And now, as we can see what the world is actually going on, what's going on in the world, 
we are getting to that period you know in which we would definitely need these names more and more because these are the names you know that can really save us no other name under heaven can give us salvation no other name under heaven can save us you know so call on these names yahweh hashem yahweh shai the most High is beginning to reveal himself more and more even to to people of you know to jakes that are, you know totally lost in other religion you know let's get on some other precepts regarding the name this is john 14 john 14 15 there we go no 14 13 actually he quotes and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do that the father yahweh may be glorified in the son yahweh shai okay whatever whatsoever we shall ask in his name which is yahweh shai you know it shall be granted to us you know and there are lots of you know different camps out there you know teaching all kind of different bugged out names different names you know but there is only one name as the book of acts 4 12 says you know there is no other other name under heaven in which man can be saved you know and here still in the book of acts 4 there is another precept in verse 30 a quote by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonder may be done by the name of the holy child yahweh shai and we know by the spirit you know by the knowledge of the spirit that this name jesus does not exist actually it's a it's a it's a renaissance name okay you can't give a greek name to someone who was born in 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 the land of the hebrews you know someone who is from the family of hebrews you can't give him a greek name you know so his name is not jesus his name is yahweh shai here is let me get two more precepts and i'll close this lesson i don't want to keep it too long so people could you know this is the book of you know luke luke 10 17 this is the book of luke 10 17 and it quotes and the 70 returned again with joy saying Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Okay. The name Yahweh Shai is powerful, man. That's where you get power from, you know. That's the name that's been given to us under heaven. I still have some more precepts, but I think I should just keep it short and let it go this way. So to shut the story, you know, this is a Muslim, you know, a Muslim Jake who heard about the name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he dreamt, he had a dream and he saw a dead, someone almost dead, you know, old in the face, being risen up and becoming young again. And everyone, all the crowd in the dream, including himself, everyone started screaming, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this dream remains a powerful dream to this brother. Even today, we saw at the plantation. And, you know, he was just still telling me, oh man, that dream, man. And, you know, he kept calling Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says, Whosoever shall call me shall not perish. Um, is it? Is it? I really can't remember. Whosoever shall, you know, call on the name will not perish man i'm just paraphrasing you know someone can put that precept in in the in the in the comment section you know so hey i just wanted to share this short lesson i hope it was a defined through the spirit and i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem buruka kudash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, risking their lives in these last days, you know, shalom.